What's up guys? Welcome back to Steve's RC. Thanks for so much for tuning in. Today we have a super exciting flight. I'm going to do a little bit of a walkthrough and then we'll go ahead and get flying here. We're going to be flying off of this gravel parking lot here. We're actually here at site one at the AMA field in Muncie, Indiana. And uh, I wanted to just take off and land in some rougher terrain than the standard asphalt that's uh, right up the way here. Of course, there's nobody out here on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, but guys, let's jump right into it. Most of you probably know everything you need to know about the Draco, uh, but I'll run through a few things. It is a 6S machine. Um, it does, I am going to be running it on the Spectrum Smart G230C uh, 6S 5000. So I will have, I have one in there right now. I did a quick test flight. So it's got about 90% battery, and then we have a second battery if we need to switch to that. You should be expecting anywhere from six to nine minute flights if you have a 7000 which it fits just fine in there no problem so guys the scale details all of the uh the just the scale accuracy of this airplane is incredible it was 3d scanned uh with mike patey of the full scale before it did crash so it is as accurate as it can be there are minor changes that we had to make to make it fly a little bit nicer as a model but for the most part you're not going to be able to tell those differences um, so right out of the box, you're going to get everything you see here. Of course, it is bind and fly basic, so you do need to supply your own battery. Um, you are going to be able to run it off of a anywhere from like an NX6 all the way up to what I'm flying on an IX20. I do recommend is about a minimum on, on like an NX8 because you'll be able to get all the functionality. Safe select, you'll be able to you operate the uh, reversing functionality as well. And I'll show you guys that here in a minute. So speaking of reversing functionality, you do... Uh, have that ability with the speed control inside the air, airplane. Uh, you can hit a switch and the airplane can back up. Uh, the airplane can also use it as a braking function when you're doing landing. So if you're trying to get into really tight spots, you can actually use the reverse prop for that as well. So I'll sprinkle in some B-roll shots here so you guys can get a hold of all the detail. It does have incredible suspension on here. And I've been flying this particular airplane now for about probably 20 flights. I've had this for a lot longer and uh, all of us were holding off video until April 23rd. So I've got a lot of flights on it. My dog decided to scratch up one of the wings here as well. Um, but overall, I've put this thing through as much many off-road positions as I can, whether it's gravel, dirt, mud, grass, it, it handles them all. And you guys will see that here shortly. Uh, so it does have the suspension up front, those King shocks on both the uh, main landing gear. And it does even have a King shock on the rear uh, tail wheel. So that's going to be even more, more shock absorption than you think you need. These slats are not removable. You have to install them onto the airplane, uh, but the, they are glued on and then the full scale is designed with them to be, you know, permanent. So they're not really something you choose like you would on a timber, uh, from e-flight as well. So you do have the flaps. Landing flaps. Um, I've got that set up here. Note guys, all of the radio setups are going to be on the horizon hobby product page. So for the Draco, all of the radio setups, whether it's for the NX, the DX, the IX series will all be there. I'm actually using Matt's uh, IX8 Plus channel setup for my IX20 that'll work on IX12 uh, as well. But he has the NX stuff in there as well. So everything even even Aileron mid -rates. down to uh, Aileron all your rates. rates, it even has the reversing. Reverse throttle. And Forward all that throttle. stuff is, is labeled for you and set up it with voice as well. So let's go ahead and get it in the air, guys. I'm sure there's plenty of other details, but most of you have seen that and what you're here for mostly uh, is is getting for a flight. So what for, come on, buddy, let's go fly. We'll back up just a little bit here, guys. And uh, first I'm just gonna do a kind of a full flap, full throttle takeoff and uh, show you guys just the power. So we're gonna go up and then we're gonna just start doing some laps around the facility here. So here we go, full elevator up, full flaps. And I've got, of course, forward reversed on forward throttle. So here we go, three, two, one, full throttle. <laughs> Now we do have a little bit of a headwind here today, guys. Normal I'm gonna mode. go ahead and put those flaps away, come out of the throttle here, go ahead and make a right-hand turn, come back around, and just get your bearings here. So right off the bat, it's got a ton of power. Um, the airplane itself can take off in a matter of, you know, inches, really. I'm gonna go ahead and just go do a full throttle loop here for you guys. Three, two, one, pull, pull, pull. Right over the top of my truck, out of the throttle, and back down great for that now the draco is not super aerobatic even in full scale it never really was intended to be um, but it can be in the model form so we'll go ahead and do a roll here you do have to add quite a bit of roll uh, rudder in there go back around and i'll try to keep it close so you guys can kind of see it here um, but it does do aerobatics just fine we'll go ahead and pull it up into a hover right above my truck here 
didn't need to add quite a bit of rudder and kind of fell out of it there. But it does, does do hovering quite well. And again, this is the 6S5000. The 7000 does fly really nicely, um, but it does limit you a little bit on, uh, on your vertical performance. So we'll go ahead and just keep that rudder uh, held in here for a nice knife edge pass as we fly back around. It does the knife edge stuff very well. Uh, you can kind of see that even on the product video, it does that extremely well. All right, so let's go ahead and start popping in some flaps. flaps. I'm gonna go full flaps. flap here. And we're just gonna get it slow going into the wind. I'm gonna come back around here. Get it nice and slow for you guys right in front of me here. You kind of see those lights, although you can't really see all the lights during the day. At night, they're super cool. I've got them on kind of full blast right now. You have a couple different options. And the mixing that Matt has set up in this radio, Matt and David Payne, um, that's nice and nice and slow there. I'm just kind of oscillating power here to keep those wings nice and level. Go ahead and put the flaps away. The, the lighting modes, as I was just mentioning, uh, all are mixed in to different things. So when my flaps are down, the lights are a little bit different. When my flaps are up, they're different. When I have reversing on, the, the, they're a little bit different. Um, even that reversing light will come on. You guys, I'm going to set up on the back of my body up here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and set flaps. up for just a quick landing Time here. For landing flaps. And uh, flying over the road here, I'm sure, is uh, this guy's seeing here. But uh, we've got a nice reversing throttle landing here. We're going to come in. And we're going to go ahead and just ease it in. As soon as I touch down, I'm going to hit reverse. Three, two, one, reverse. reverse. And I can stop it. So we did land it pretty hard down. Uh, I did you know, come out of the throttle immediately, but that's a great way to, to land the Draco. So here we go. We're just going to keep reverse backing up throttle. here. I'll show you guys. Look for come. Come here, bud. Back up just a little bit more. Show you guys that reverse in action. All right. Now we're back into forward. Go ahead and take off again, full throttle, straight up in the air, flaps away immediately. You guys can see that vertical performance is pretty incredible. Come out of the throttle and level back off. All right, so when it comes to inverted flight, the Draco is not, it's not its favorite thing. <laughs> um, inverted flight requires quite a bit of elevator and I'm just gonna keep it over the uh, actual flying area here. So a ton of elevator, ah, you know what? I'm about three quarters stick to keep it on the inverted plane. I'm about three quarter throttle as well. But it does want to double over and you know go down. It's just those slats just really make it want to to dive. So when you are doing rolls, make sure to rudder, make sure to add elevator, make sure to add rudder again. <laughs> Every single time you're doing any kind of roll, the four point roll does work very well. So we'll go ahead and do one, two, two, three, and four. It does those very well. As far as speed goes, full throttle passes with the Draco are quite nice. Um, I'd say anywhere in the range of 50 to 60 miles an hour. Um, I'll get a nice one speeded up here for you guys uh, from the right to left over here. We'll come back around. Here comes a full throttle pass. I'll get you nice and low. Hear that motor wind up. So that's into the wind and we'll keep the throttle on now. And we'll go ahead and keep it banking in and we're going to come down downwind now. It'll be a little bit faster for you. So pretty nice speed, it is no slouch. And again, this 6S is only the 30C. You can get a 100C or a 50C in there, you're gonna get a little bit more oomph, but with an airplane, it's not uh, as important to have that level of C rating. So we'll go ahead and bring it around here. We'll do a, another landing for you guys, because to me, the, the landings with the Draco are the most fun. So we're gonna landing go ahead and flaps. put my landing flaps on as I come back around here. And again, we're gonna be landing in this gravel, so I'm setting up at a kind of an awkward angle. So I'm gonna return around, add that rudder in and then just let it glide in. So you can see that prop is stopped there. It does cause a lot of drag. What for come? Come here, bud. Good boy. All right, so we'll go ahead and set up for a nice soft landing here. And again, I'm gonna use that reversing, but here we go, just setting it in. Look how smooth that is. It stopped it right in front of me with that reversing throttle. So guys, the Draco, uh, super fun to fly. We're gonna do another flight here in a second, and I'll piece this together with the 7000 so you can get an idea for the speed and the agility in the 7000 but off the bat awesome airplane easy to put together it did take me about i don't know maybe 30 minutes to a half hour or 30 minutes to 45 minutes maybe an hour depending on your building capabilities it's quite easy you've got to put the wheels on put the main landing gear on put the wing on what i would recommend is go ahead and download and every draco should be labeled this way uh, we hope from our dealers and from our from our warehouse uh, after this week but every Draco should have a label on there. Go ahead and download the newest manual. 
Uh, it's going to be vitally important that you get those new, newest manual. It's going to have all the new updates. It'll have all the new radio setups. Download the new radio setups. They'll be on the, like I said, the Horizon Hobby Draco product page. They'll be on the Spectrum RC radio pages that you would normally get your radio setups from. And But download the, the, the digital manual. It has been vastly updated from what's in your box. Honestly, take the manual in the box and put it in the trash can and download the real one because there's just so many nice little changes, so many little tips and tricks that we've added to the manual past production, unfortunately, but that's okay. We wanted to get the product here. The manual in the box will work. It's just not ideal. Uh, the one that's online is so, so, so much better. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief video on the Draco. Let's go ahead and pull out the 6S5000 here. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put the 6S7000. Now, I don't have a smart 7000 with me, but we're still gonna be able to get that battery voltage back to our radio to kind of know when we need to land. That said, uh, the 7000 fits in here very well. Um, it's all the way to the back of the firewall and uh, or, you know, underneath the dash, essentially. You don't need to bring it any more forward. The airplane balances very well right here. When you put the 5000 in, what I do recommend is that you run the 5000 up a little bit so that your first battery strap is right in here. And that will make the airplane feel a little bit more balanced. If you run this battery back, you're gonna end up feeling uh, just a little bit funky. So come make this battery come a little bit forward. It does feel tail heavy back there with that. So run that up a little bit forward. For me, that's the right way to go. And uh, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw the 6S7000 in here. And I'll show you guys some of that performance and do another quick little flight. All right, for guys. So we now have the 6S7000. This is a Connexus battery. It's not a smart pack, but nonetheless, you can still get all your battery voltage back no matter what battery you use. Um, again, I'm going to reset my timer here. I have it at five minutes. The last flight was obviously not a full flight, um, but you are going to get nine, depending on more, nine or more with this 7000, depending on how you fly it. For me, touch and goes all day long with the Draco is my favorite thing to do. Um, if you're going to be hard on it, you're going to burn that battery obviously a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and put full flaps in, full elevator, whip for come, and uh, keep the dog safe. And then we'll go ahead and whip fired. Leave it. Here we go. I'll take off. So a little bit, a little bit more sluggish. Uh, of course, not no slouch at all. Uh, we've got a great headwind here, so this is going to be downwind turning right now. I'm going to go ahead and power on. So it's going to be a little bit uh, more, a little bit more aggressive in speed, but when it comes to uh, being heavier, absolutely. The Draco will be a little bit heavier with the 7000. One of the things it does really well is snaps. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that well. I know we don't have the, the greatest camera out here. I'll do another one a little bit lower as I come back around. But the Draco does incredible with the snap roll or just snaps in general, really. So we'll go ahead and come back around and I'll go full throttle here. And I'm going to pull up three, two, one, snap now. And it just snaps around quick. I kind of pulled out of it there for you. We'll do another one here as we uh, have the little extra. There you go. It, it winds up rather quickly. And guys, if you do uh, want to put it into a fun spin stall, it can do that extremely well too. When you just put the sticks in the bottom right corner, get it up in the air and do some really cool uh, spins. It does that quite well. So here I am about one quarter throttle, just crabbing back as I have that pretty good cross, uh, you know, quartering crosswind here. Uh, I'm flying in a weird area. But I moved a little bit for you guys just so we can kind of get better, uh, better visibility of the airplane and to be able to land here nice on this nice gravel runway. So I'm just kind of off throttle here, letting it cruise past you with full flaps and uh, going back around here with the flaps all the way down. I'm using plenty of rudder to mix that out. It does need lots of rudder, especially when it's a little windy out. We'll come back around and do a couple of touch and goes for you guys as the dogs chase the Draco around. About one quarter throttle here, a little bit under a half actually, as we turn back into the wind. Off the throttle now, using that rudder to get me around. You can see that crosswind pushing me here at a little throttle and into the <laughs> reverse throttle. <laughs> Terrible landing. But guys, it does have the, uh, the little wing uh, skis on there and it, that will help it a lot from being damaged. So. That's actually the direction of the wind from when we started now. That's the direction it's going. So let's go ahead and take off again. Normal Putting mode. those flaps away and come back around. We'll go ahead and do another landing here. I'm going to set up a little further out so we can actually have a nice looking landing. That Time one was pretty rough minutes. looking. Landing flaps. Flaps back in. 
Yeah, we definitely have quite a bit of wind here. I, I set that one up way too soon, so we'll go ahead and pull it all the way back around. And I'm going to set up a little bit further out over the road. I'm also trying not to fly over the road here, but this is the probably the lowest traffic road you could ever imagine here <laughs> at the AMA this weekend. All right, here we go. Right into the wind for everybody, right at us. You can see that blinking light there. There we go. So that's without the reversing thrust. I wanted to kind of show you guys what that looks like as it comes in, rolls off really nicely. Again, we're in gravel and I'm able to steer this thing around no problem. So let's go ahead and go do a downwind takeoff here. All right, got the dog chasing it. I'm gonna keep that rudder hanging out here. Show you guys again that knife edge. It does it extremely well. A little bit of left aileron and a little bit of down elevator. It just holds that beautifully. Let's go for a nice little loop here. So three, two, one, up. Full throttle, out of the throttle. Really tight loop, look at that. Nice into some rolls, so right hand roll. Use that rudder to come back around. Go ahead and try a stall turn closer to you guys so you can see it here. We'll do it away from the camera. We're going to go up, off throttle, left rudder, spins it right around, no problem at all. Rudder is quite powerful on this aircraft. Time remaining you really, really kind of almost have to be a little careful. It can kind of flick the wing down, but it's not aggressive. It just, it just works flaps. very well. So we got the flaps back in. I'm going to come in here for another nice landing. I'm going to use the reverse thrust this time to show you guys that. And again, that's 7,000. I've got to make sure you don't take the dogs out while we do this. Reverse throttle. Look at that. <laughs> Stopped it in its place pretty much. So really, really nice. I love that reverse throttle. You can use it anywhere, whether you're landing on the runway, which you do get a little bit more bounces. You're on the dirt, you're on the grass. The reverse, the reverse prop is just super fun. And uh, you're going to start seeing that in more aircraft from Horizon. Now that we have all the smart ESCs and the ability to do this, um, you can see it in, even moving into things like maybe EDFs. Uh, so that's exciting to see that uh, going forward. So it seems super simple, but it's super nice to have uh, when it comes to flying. So guys, I'm going to taxi this back up. Thanks so much for tuning in. I know everyone's been excited to see other people fly these. Uh, this probably wasn't my best set of flying skills today, but hopefully showing you more of a normal person's uh, flight experience with the Draco. And uh, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're over 2,000, almost 2,100 subscribers at the time of me shooting this video. I appreciate everyone's support. Hope to bring you guys more videos like this in the future. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I will definitely make sure to get back to you and uh, take care of you. And I hope you guys enjoy when you get your Dracos, which should be at the same day that you're seeing this video go live. So enjoy, guys. We'll see you on the flying field. Thanks so much. Just to show you guys one last fun clip here, there's a stair set, and here's me taxiing Draco up a hill. No problem, just does it. And I know that didn't look like a lot, guys, but I mean, that's the stair set. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but it's a good little hill, and uh, you can kind of see the angle of that fence in the background there, but no problem for the Draco.